Hi Pre-K, we have a brand new book today in our healthy unit and it is called Why We Exercise by Rosalind Clark. I want you to think about why do we exercise? Why do you think it's important that we move our bodies or play sports or do go noodle? Why do we do those things? Let's read and find out why. Okay, I need to find my first word. So first, I need to find the words. This is a picture. These are the words. So I go to the top left, and here's where I start to read. Let's move. It is time to get moving. How will you exercise today? And it looks like these kids are running. If you like to run around, touch your nose. I see lots of you are touching your nose. There are many ways to exercise. Climbing at the playground is exercise. If you like to climb and go to playgrounds, touch your head. Playing a sport is exercise. Exercising with others is fun. Can you name some sports that are great exercise? I see these kids are playing soccer. If you've played soccer before, give me a thumbs up. If you have not played soccer before, you can give me a thumbs down. You can exercise on your own too. Jumping rope makes your heart beat fast. Then your heart moves blood quickly through your body. Exercise makes your body strong. Your muscles work hard. Your bones grow stronger. Why do you think it is important for your bones to be strong? Do you see this girl? Can you do this pose? You can try it right now. See if you can put your hands on the floor one leg down and see if you can stretch one leg up in the air like she's doing. It looks like she's doing yoga or some type of gymnastics. Exercise stretches muscles. It keeps us flexible. Can you touch your toes? Can you do that right now? Can you stand up and bend down and touch your toes? Or you could be sitting like she's doing and reach and see if you can touch your toes. Can you think of other ways to stretch your muscles? Exercise makes you feel good too. Being active can make you feel happy. Do you know what these kids are doing? I see that they're wearing helmets and I can kind of see looks like some handlebars. So I'm guessing that they are probably riding, they're going to ride bikes or maybe scooters. Exercise, exercise even works your brain. It helps us think more clearly and it helps us sleep better at night. Ooh, a different ball. Before we saw a soccer ball, do you know what this is called? Basketball. Isn't that amazing that when you exercise, it helps your, your bones and your body, but it also helps your brain and it helps you sleep better. Move your body every day. There are many fun activities you can try. And this that this girl is doing, she is doing a special sport called karate. It's where you learn um, special kicks and hits, but it's in a safe, a safe way. Here are different types of exercise gear. A jungle gym, water bottle, jump rope, tennis shoes, bicycle. 
And this is called a picture glossary, and it shows us some, some vocabulary words and what they mean. So here's the word bones, hard parts inside your body that make up your skeleton. Flexible, able to bend and move easily. Heart, the organ in your chest that pumps blood throughout your body. Muscles, tissues in the body that connect to your bones and make them move. The end. And here is the back of my book. All right, Pre-K, I hope you enjoyed this book and I hope you exercise today and move your bodies.